Hey everybody, Tyler here with Jason, our furniture expert here at Boulevard Home. Today we're gonna to be talking about leather and specifically furniture leather. So Jason, there's three types of leather we're gonna be talking about, right? There is top grain leather, split grain, and bonded leather, right? Right. Can you tell us a little bit more before we go into details about those, about leather Absolutely. In so when you're look, talking and looking at leather, what we're talking about is the height of a cow. So let's just say that the height of the cow is about this thick right here, Tyler. So when they cut the top most outer layer of the hide, that is gonna be top grain leather. And the reason that that's the best one is it's more breathable, it's uh, more durable, and it's more plush and soft. And so then after the top, what they're gonna do is they're gonna cut a piece out of the middle, and that is called split leather. And what split leather is, is it's a cheaper leather, but still leather, you get all the benefits from it. It's just not quite as durable and it's not quite as breathable as top grain leather. Okay. And then very last on the cut is gonna be the very bottom. And what they do is that's gonna be bonded leather or vinyl. And what they do is they shred all that up and they glue it all together to give you the leather look at a fraction of the cost. Awesome. Yeah. So that, that's basic, the general ideas about leather by itself. We're gonna go in and show you some examples of all three of those types of leathers. Absolutely. So first off, we wanna show you what bonded leather looks like. With an example here right behind us, we have a bonded leather sofa. Jason, tell us a little bit about what makes this bonded leather. So bonded leather is a great sofa for a lot of people out there, and I'm gonna tell you why. So Tyler, when you first look at bonded leather, what you see is it looks like a leather it, it sofa. It does, it looks just like leather. So it's got a lot of benefits of leather. So it's ease of cleaning, your kids spill something on it, your dog jumps on it, you can just wipe it right off. So, and the best part of bonded leather, in my opinion, is the price. So for instance, when you look at this one right here, you can see this sofa is on sale for $399. So bonded leather is a great option at a great price. Now, some of the things that it lacks on, why you're wondering, how is that only $399? So when you look at bonded leather, it is that bottom cut that we talked about earlier of the leather, and it's ground up and it's glued onto the vinyl. So what that does is if you set in your leather and it's hot and you wonder why it doesn't breathe as well, it's because it's glued together. So that's why you stick to bonded leather a little bit more and it could peel over time too. It's just not quite as durable as that solid piece of leather. Awesome, so that's our first one, bonded leather. Now let's show you the second one, which is split leather. So we're now standing in front of the second level of leather quality. Jason, tell us a little bit more about split grain leather. Awesome. So split grain leather is a great alternative to not just doing top grain leather. So if you're in between that bonded and that full top grain leather, this is the one to go. And I'll show you why. So some of the benefits with split grain is so anywhere that you touch like the back, the seat, and the arm is gonna be top grain. So you're getting the benefits of that where the split grain leather comes in is on the sides. So when you feel the sides, Tyler, go ahead and feel the front of this and the sides, and you can feel that there's a little bit different texture there. Yeah. So you still get the benefits of having an all leather couch with the top grain on the front and then saves you money with the splits on the backs and the sides. So with the split grain leather, the second level we're talking about, most of the furniture companies that Jason just mentioned use split grain in combination with top grain leather, mostly so that the price comes down and you can get a more, more affordable, high quality leather piece of furniture. Okay, now we're here, we wanna talk about the third type of leather, which is the top grain leather that we've been talking about. We wanna talk more in detail about what makes leather top grain. And I know there's a couple things, right? You talked to, talked to me about earlier. One is the dye and one is the texture. Right, is that correct? So Jason's gonna go into more detail about those two things. All right, so when you're looking at top grain leather, Tyler said there's those two things that you need to look at. So one, if you grab one of these samples right here. Okay. So when you look at this sample of leather, you could see the back is blue as well as the front. So this is called anilined, full anilined leather. Okay. And what anilined is, is it's the dye that they use to dye the leather. So when you're looking at a quality top grain leather piece, always turn it over and look at the back. If the color is all the way through, that means that leather has been dyed all the way through. Okay. And that's full aniline. So it's key, right? If you're worried about your sofa, your leather being scratched at all, you want the full aniline dye, which Versus makes it, if it's scratched, the color stays the same. If it gets scratched and doesn't have the full aniline dye, then it will change colors and you won't get that natural color that you're looking for right on your sofa. Absolutely. So that's tip that's a tip number 1. I think that's a great tip that as you're furniture shopping, if they have these leather 
um, samples, right? Mm -hmm. Turn it over. If, it go, if the dye goes all the way through, you know you have a higher quality leather. Absolutely. Okay. So that's the first one. What's the second one? Texture. The second one is texture. So if you could look at this board right here, you could feel the texture of this, how it's more coarse than this one right here. Yeah, you can even see it. Right. Yeah. So there's two different textures. There's the oil texture, and then there's the natural texture. So on a natural texture, there's the imperfections of the cow's hide. So there could be some scars where they bumped into a fence, just some impurities in the leather, and that'll give the natural look. And then the oiled look, what they do is they can make it consistent and keep the same texture all the way through, and that's when you get the oil texture. Okay, so if I understand this right, it's a it's a manufactured look, right? On this this right. one, they, they make it look how they want, and then this is just natural. This is how it came, natural hide, looks really good. You can see scratches. You know, if you scratch it, you can do it, but you can rub them out. You can, So yep. that's a natural, high quality, top grain leather. Yep, and the other tip, this is a boulevard tip. When you're looking at leathers, the more stuff that companies do to leathers, Tyler, the price goes down. The less they do to it, the naturals, that's why they always hold the premium price. Okay. So anytime you're looking at price of a leather sofa, consider that. The more that they do to it, the less expensive is it, it is. Good tip. So thanks everybody for watching today. Jason, who knew there was so much to furniture leather? I learned tons today. Hopefully you did too. Thank you again for watching. Subscribe to our channel, ring the bell below, get notifications, and enjoy furniture shopping.